In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make multiple pages Canva websites. So I'm going to show you step by step what you need to do. And at the end of this video, you'll have a full understanding of how you can make a multi page Canva website. OK, so let's jump into it. So what you want to do is go to Canva.com and which here you might want to create a free account. It isn't necessary and everything that I show you in this video will be using the Canva free plan. But what you need to do is go to the Canva search box and just type in here website. Now, once you've done that, it will then give you some suggestions on what you can type. Or if you scroll down here, you can go to suggested templates, click see all, and then you'll see all of these website templates you can edit. Now, some of these are going to be premium templates. And if you don't have a paid Canva account, what I recommend you do is go to all filters. Then you can scroll down and then just choose the free ones and click apply. Once you've done that, it will then filter out the templates. So you can see we've got 850 here. So you can create from a template and I really do recommend it to be honest. It just makes everything a lot easier and you can have like animations and you can just change out the images, the media and text as well. So if you hover over these templates, it's going to tell you how many pages each one has. So this one has seven pages. This one has six. This one has eight. So I'll just open up this sales and marketing template. So if you go ahead and click on it, we'll then open it in a new window and you can go ahead and customize it. So if you go to customize this template, you can't actually preview this before you customize it, but just click customize and we can always change it later. Okay. So once you've clicked on customize, you'll then be taken to this window. Now, one thing that people usually ask on Canva is how do I get the menu bar to appear at the top? Now, the menu bar is always going to appear after you publish it. So if you click on publish website, not going to publish it yet, you can choose to have your website published with the navigation or without navigation. Now, with navigation, it's going to publish your website with the navigation at the top here. So this is what it will look like with navigation. You'll be able to click on any of these links and it will take you to the relevant place on the site. So that's just that out the window for those that are going to ask about that. So editing your website, relatively easy, right? Once you've got a template, you can then go ahead and edit it however you want, including changing the images, the text. You can add buttons, add more elements and so on. So first we'll look at changing text. So you can go ahead and double click on anything and you can edit anything here. So I'm going to change this text here by just highlighting it. And I can then change this to my name, which is Bradley Harrison. Now I've done that. We can highlight this text again. And if you go ahead and go to this top bar here, you can see you've got the font. So you can change this to whatever font you want. So maybe we want Poppins bold. And now we've done that, you can see it's changed the text a little bit. So we might want to go to the next button along, which is the resize button. And we can then change the font size, increase or decrease that as well as the text color. We may want to change that. For the video though, I'll just keep the text color the same to match the template. Then you've got things like making text bold, underlining, strike through. You've got your animation and your text effects so you can add different styles here. Now I'm not going to go into that in too much detail, but that's how you can edit text. Now, if I didn't want this sales executive text, I could just go ahead and delete it. And also this button I don't want. It's actually grouped to the text. So if I click on it, click ungroup, I can then go ahead and just delete that. Obviously that looks very empty now, but you can do whatever you want, right? Now I'm going to just move this text up a little bit and we'll just leave it here. Okay, so now we've got this text added. We can also replace photos. So if you go ahead and go and click on the photo and click edit photo, you can go ahead and change things like filters, add effects to your photo. Or if you just wanted to replace it, you can go here to the left of Canva and here you can go to your uploads and you can go ahead and upload your own images. So maybe I want to use this image, which I've already uploaded from my computer. So to upload, you click here, upload an image or video and you can find it on your computer. Once you've uploaded it to Canva, these will save and you can use these on any project. So I'm going to just drag on this image. Not only that, we can go ahead and go to elements and you can go ahead and search for photos on Canva. So maybe I wanted a beach. We can then click enter. And here you can see you've got photos of beaches, graphics, videos, frames, and so on. And if you wanted to, you could go ahead and drag one of these on. Notice that some of them have crown icons. That means it is a pro photo. So you can't use it without a pro plan. But we could drag on this beach if we wanted to. So now moving on to the next page. Now we've got the about me section, which again can be customized however you want. Also, the background can also be changed if necessary. And obviously you can just add drag and drop any of your elements here 
onto this page so you can create a really responsive, high quality, good looking page. Now, one thing you might want to know about creating multi-page Canva websites is, you know, in the start of the video, when I showed you the preview and I said that the navigation bar will appear if you select the navigation bar. Well, if you want to change what these pages say on the navigation bar, then you can actually do that by clicking on the page, then going to add notes. And this page is currently called about me, but I could just go ahead and change this to whatever here. So about me, I'll just call it about me example just for the video. Now, if we go to preview, you'll see that it should now be changed to about me example. So when people are talking about multi-page Canva websites, oftentimes they want to know how they can edit these pages up here. And that's how you would do that. And you can do that for any page. Just click on it and then go to the add notes section and you can change the name here. So now we've got that out of the way. Well, we can go ahead and really build out the website, but this isn't a tutorial really showing you all of Canva's features. Again, you can go and add text. You can go and upload your own media, your own images. You can go and upload Canva's elements. As well as if you go into apps, Canva have loads more apps recently, which have been added, which allow you to do various different things like create your own AI characters. You can add here QR codes, AI voices, and there's a lot of stuff here that you can experiment with. But once you've created your website by dragging and dropping the elements from the elements tab, as well as text onto your website, you then want to go to publish website in the top right hand corner. And that will then bring up this window where it's going to lock your design. Now you want to make sure you've got with navigation selected and that will create your website with the navigation bar, which I was on about. Then if you wanted to, you can purchase a domain through Canva and obviously have a custom domain. If not, you can keep it on a free domain, but you are only allowed five websites on the free plan. That is five live websites, by the way. I'm going to use the free domain for the video and click continue. And you can then edit this here. So if you click edit, this is going to be editing what will show on your tab. So maybe you don't want all of this to show on your tab. Maybe I just want to type here Bradley Harrison. Then you can also change the page URL. So my website is going to be bradleyharrison.mycanva.site. I might want to change this URL to website example, and you can see that's available. Also, I would write a description because this is what's going to show in Google. And apart from that, the advanced settings aren't really necessary to be changed, except from if you don't want your site to be indexed in Google, go ahead and uncheck this. Okay, so once you're happy with that, go ahead and publish it. And that will then prepare your design and publish it to the internet. And then in a second, we'll be able to grab a link to this website. So here is our website. It's now live. We can now visit this website or copy the URL. As well as if you click on visit website, here you can see is the navigation bar. We can click on skills and it will take us to skills and so on. So that's how you can create a multiple page Canva website. I hope that was quick and did help you out.